Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is another video on FPJ prototyping experience video series. In this video series, I share some tips and tricks of FPJ design. In this video, we are about to discuss Posage and Nagage flip-flop count inside the FPGAs and this video is going to be very interesting. So be with me till the end of this video. And now without wasting much time, let us get started. Friends, those who worked on FPGAs, they know that FPGA product guides mention very clearly the number of LUTs and flip-flops available inside the FPGA design. But they never mention that whether these flip-flops are working on a posage of the clock or negage of the clock. Now I'm going to show you one product guide of Vertex 7 series. Now I'm going to search 7 series product guide on Google and once I type this, you will get this link. You should click here. This will open up a 7 series product selection guide. And just for your knowledge, 7 series of FPGAs consists of Spartan 7 series, Arctic 7 series, Kintech 7 series and Vertex 7 series of FPGAs. On the very first page, they mention all the specification of Spartan 7 series of FPGAs. On the second page, they mention all the specifications of Arctic 7 series of FPGAs. And on the third page, specification about Kintech 7 FPGAs is given and on the fourth page, they have given Vertex 7 series of FPGA specifications. Let us consider this particular FPGA device. And for this device, we have this many flip-flops available inside the device. Similarly, for any FPGA device, any part number, you can get the number of flip-flops available inside it. For example, in this FPGA device number, you have these many flip-flops available inside the device. But in this product guide, it is nowhere mentioned that whether these flip-flops will work on positive edge of the clock or negative edge of the clock. What should an FPGA user perceive from it? Can all the flip-flops work on positive and negative edge of the clock? What is truth about it? Friend, this is very interesting fact. In the subsequent part of the video, I'm going to reveal this truth. Friends, to understand this concept, let us go to our Uado screen and implement some portion of the design which will utilize positive edge of the clock and some portion of the design will utilize negative edge of the clock. Friends, I have written a small design for you where some of the flip-flops will work on the positive edge of the clock and some of the flip-flops will work on the negative edge of the clock. So the input signals are clock and reset. Output are count passage, count negage. Actually, I am going to implement two counters one counter which increments its value on the positive edge of the clock and the other counter which increments its value on the negative edge of the clock. So this is the implementation of the first positive edge counter and this is the implementation of a negative edge counter. Whenever reset is asserted, my count passage will go zero. Else it will keep on incrementing by one. Similarly, the negative edge counter, whenever reset is asserted, its value will be zero, else it keep on incrementing by one. Now let us try to synthesize it and implement it in Vivado and see what are the implementation results. Friends, I have implemented our design by pressing on this run implementation button in Vivado GUI. And once my design is implemented, you can open your schematic by pressing on the schematic button. So this is how I open it. And very clearly from the schematic, we can see that our design has four flip-flops because I have two counters in my design. Each counter has two bits. This is negage counter, bit 0 and bit 1. Let us mark them with a color. Let us give them a yellow color. And positive edge counter, let us give them a red color. And now in the device view, you can see which flip-flops are used. I'm zooming in. We can see that it has used two slices. This is first slice, slice number X68Y1 and slice X69Y1. So red color flip flops are positive edge counter and yellow are negative edge counter. So negative edge counter is implemented here. Positive edge counter is implemented here. But for your surprise, even in this slice, we had more than four flip-flops why this counter is implemented outside 
this point should be considered or why both the counts are not implemented in single slice now let me zoom it further this is the positive edge uh, counter and this is negative edge counter let me zoom in this area if you see clock of both these flops we see inverter but now for the positive edge counter we will not see any inverter on the clock edge we will not see any inverter on the clock pin friends from the schematic it appears that for the implementation of negative edge counter it has utilized two inverters for both the flip flops if this is the case why tool has not implemented these two flip flops inside the same slice where pos edge counter is implemented and it could have used two inverters on the clock pins actually it is a false perception we don't have inverters available for every flip flop but we have a inverter available for single slice even if we use single flip flop with negative edge clock then we cannot use other flip flops inside the same slice for the implementation of positive edge flip flops so that is the reason if we have used only two flip flops to implement two negative edge flip flops then we cannot use other flip flops for the implementation of pos edge flip flops similarly here if we have utilized two flip flops for the implementation of two pos edge flip flops we cannot use other flip flops for the implementation of neg edge flip flops that is the reason being pos edge counter is implemented in a separate slice and neg edge counter is implemented in a separate slice friends i want to prove the same concept with the help of xilinx documentation and for that i have opened user guide 474 which is targeting 7 series of fpgas and this document explains clb architecture and on page number 20 there is a slice architecture and these are some flip flops available inside the slice if you focus on this clock pin this is coming from here and you see either we can pass clock as it is or we can pass inverted version of clock to all the flip flops there is no provision that we can pass clock to some of the flip flops and negation of clock to the other flip flops friends by now it will be clear to you that how the flip flops can be used as pos edge flip flops or neg edge flip flops inside the fpj designs friends with this i am going to end this episode and i hope that this would be quite informative and interesting for all of you if you also like this video please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section and if you have any other idea and you want our videos to be targeted for those ideas please write down those topics in the comment section and we will give priority to those topics friends in future also we are going to create many such videos so those who have not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching